Hello, hello, hello to all my uniques out there. This is your favorite girl, Akudo. Welcome to your unique wisdom. For today, I'm going to speak on the topic, I am enough. Say it with me, I am enough. To all my returning subscribers, hello and welcome back. For those of you that are not part of my family, what are you waiting for? You see the red button below the video that says subscribe? Click on that button. Wait for the notification bell. Click on that one too, so you'll be the first to see my videos when they drop. Now, let's jump right into it. Live from Atlanta, from Atlanta Georgia. Georgia. Beautiful. Beautiful. Wonderfully made Wonderful by God. God. Welcome to the prediction. I am enough. My uniques, I want you to grab your chair. I want you to grab a friend. I want you to grab your children, your husband. Come on, let's sit around the table and let's talk. I am enough. When I say the word enough, what comes to your mind? I want you to write in the comment section what comes to your mind. I am enough. I'm confident. I know who I am. I know whose I am. I am enough. Now, before we say any other thing, let me give you Google's definition of what the word enough means. Okay? Google says enough is as many as required or as much as is required. Enough means as many as is required. My sister, my brother, do you know whatever is required for a human being to be complete, whatever is required for a human being to succeed, whatever is required for a human being to excel, you are that and you are enough. The society has made us and told us lies that we are not enough. You need to be tall enough. You need to be short enough. You need to be fat enough. You need to be slim enough. You need to have a certain color enough. You need to have a certain color of eyes to be enough. But my uniques, I'm here today to tell you, you don't need all that. No matter how you look, my sister, my brother, you are enough. You are enough. You are as many as is required, as much as is required. That is you. My sister, so many people and my brother, they confuse the word enough and sufficient. Some people say, oh, I am sufficient. Oh, I am enough. No, my sister, I'm going to tell you those two things mean two different things. When you say enough, like I said, the definition, enough means as many as required. Why the word sufficient means the smallest amount needed two different things one is as many as is required that's enough sufficient is the smallest amount needed i need 15 batteries to work my remote control and once i put 15 batteries in there that's enough i need 15 batteries to work my remote, but if you put six in there, it will still work. That is sufficient. My uniques, I'm coming today. We are going to talk, we are going to relax, and we are going to get to know who we are. You are enough. That means as many as required. 15 of them you need to put in that remote to use your back to use your remote. Sufficient. If you put six, you don't have. 15 is required, but if you put six, it will still work. That is sufficient. So from today, stop using the term sufficient for you because my sister, my brother, you are enough. Whatever that is needed for you to be happy on planet Earth, you are that. Whatever is needed to succeed in life, you are that. Whatever you need to excel in life, you are that, my sister. And I'm here to tell you, and I'm going to illustrate. I have done a video like this sometime 
on Facebook, but I'm bringing this back to you guys. Because after this virus, after what we went through, people are beginning to think that they are not enough. People are beginning to think that my job is who I am. Now that I've lost my job, what do I do? Where do I go? My marriage is everything. What do I do? I've lost my marriage. I, my heart is broken. What do I do after life? What do I do with life after a breakup? What am I going to do? I've lost my business. I've lost everything. What do I do? My sister, my brother, I'm here to tell you, you are enough. You're going to pick yourself up. You're going to dust yourself up and you're going to move on because life moves on. The downfall of a man is not the end of his life. You're going to be better. You're going to have double for your trouble and you're going to excel and succeed in everything you put your mind to. But first of all, it starts in the mind and you have to know and believe that you are enough. This is a $100 bill. Okay? My uniques, this is the highest denomination of the American money. What a $100 can buy in Georgia, it can buy in Miami, it can buy in Florida, it can buy in Washington, nothing can change it. A hundred dollar in Powder Springs is a hundred dollar in Washington, is a hundred dollar in Nebraska, is a hundred dollar in South Dakota. Hundred dollar is a hundred. It does not change. Nothing can change its value, nothing can destroy its worth. My sister, you are a hundred. My brother, you are a hundred. This is a hundred dollar bill. I might decide to fold it. My sister, does it take out its value? No, it is still a hundred. I might decide to fold and hold it and rumple it in my hand. Does it change the value of this money? No, my sister. I might decide to say, you know what? I'm going to pour water on it. I'm going to pour water on it and then I'm going to wipe it out. I'm going to pour the water and then I wipe it out. Does it change the value, my sister? No. Does it change the value, my brother? No. You are a hundred. Whatever life throws your way, whatever life decides to bring your way, it doesn't change your value, my sister. It does not change your value, my brother. You are still a hundred. Sometimes people might accidentally tear their money. Accident. What do they do? They get a tape and they tape it all together. They will still march into the store and buy what they need with their $100. And the cashier is not going to say, or the person at the cash register is not going to say, you know what, because your money is torn. Uh-uh, that's not $100. It's now $99. Because you poured water on it and it becomes dairy and then people are looking at it, it's no longer this clean and crisp. People will not say, you know what, Akudo, I'm not going to take that from you. If I take that from you, it's no longer a hundred. It's now $90 because it's dirty. It doesn't change it, my sister. It does not change it, my brother. You are who you are, beautifully, wonderfully and fearfully created by God. Nothing can change that. No matter what life throws your way, no matter what happens to you, even if you lose it all, my sister, even if you have lost it all, my brother, you are still a hundred. Nothing can take it away from you. You see, when I was a little girl and I was growing up in Nigeria, in my classroom in elementary school, I was the only one that was wearing glasses. So all my friends made fun of me. You know, back home in Nigeria, they called me all kinds of names. Oh, you have four eyes, you're wearing glasses, you're this, you're that. And you know, as a little girl growing up, I will go to school and I will hide my glasses. I'll put my glasses in my book bag and I will hide it. But guess what? I can't see. <laughs> I could not see the board from where I was sitting so we would do some tests, we would do exams, and I wouldn't write anything because I can see the board. Instead of me to bring out my glasses and put it on, I was so scared they were going to laugh at me. And then when I got home, my result came out and I did so badly. And my mother called me and my mother said, Akudo, 
this is all like you. What happened? Why did you do so badly? I told my mom I wasn't wearing my glasses, so I couldn't see. My mother said, why? Why wouldn't you wear your glasses? I said, ma, you know why? They make fun of me and they call me four eyes. So I hide my glasses in my bag because I don't want people to make fun of me. And my mother looked at me and she smiled. I will never forget what my mother said to me. And that's what I'm going to bring to you guys today. My mother looked at me and she said, my daughter, I have a question for you. In your class, among all your friends, who can read very well? I said, hmm, it's me. She said, oh, wow, okay. What about in math? Who is very good with math? I said, hmm, mommy, it's me. She said, oh, okay. So if I ask you this question, who do you think is the smartest in your class? What would you say? I said, oh, it's me. I know it's me. I'm very smart. And my mother laughed and said, so what is the problem? We have identified three things you're good at. You're smart, you can read very well, and you know your maths. And then on this other hand, you are short-sighted and you wear glasses. You have one here and you have three here. So you're going to let this one overtake these three just because of what your friends are saying? I said, um, I think you're right, mom. She said, my daughter, you are short-sighted. There is nothing you can do about it. You're going to wear glasses all your life. There is nothing you can do about it. But you see your classwork, you see your education, you see how educated you get in life. My daughter, that is up to you. That's your choice. That one, you can do something about. My uniques, that, that talk changed my whole life. That talk made me know, oh my God, who I am. And since that time, nobody on earth can tell me any different. <laughs> I am a hundred. With my flaws, with my short sight, with my glasses, honey, I am a hundred. You can't take away my intelligence. You can't take away my funny bone. You can't take away my kind heart. You can't take away who I am. So why would I let one thing take over the whole good things about me? And that day I learned that lesson. My uniques, what has life thrown your way? Have you been divorced from that marriage? Have you been separated from your children? Your child is not doing well. That child has refused to come out of drugs. You have done everything possible and these children are not doing good. That marriage is not working. You are married to a narcissistic personality and nothing is working. And now you're telling yourself, I am such a fool. I cannot amount to anything. People are talking about me. People are laughing at me. So because of that, I'm going to hide. I'm not going to show who I am because I don't think I am enough. My sister, my brother, I'm here to tell you today, you are enough. You are a hundred. Nothing can change you. Nothing can take away your value. Nothing can take away your worth. You are a hundred. No matter what they say, it is all their opinion. No matter what they laugh at, just their opinion. It What matters is what you believe and what you think is going on with you. They can call you all kinds of names. In my school, they called me, oh, four eyes. You always wear glasses. They will laugh. But guess what? That four eyes has taken me everywhere. That glasses has taken me everywhere. My sister, it is high time, my brother, we begin to know that every stumbling block should be a stepping stone onto your victory. That which people thought should be a stumbling block, should keep you down, should make you not know who you are. Let it be a ladder. Let it be a stepping stone onto your next victory. Let it be a step. Let it be the oomph. Let it be the push you need to get to where you're going. 
because my sister, I'm here to tell you, you are not sufficient. You are enough. Because that marriage failed, now you think that you can never be happy again? No, my sister, you are enough. You have learned the season. You have learned the lessons of that season. And that has made you a better version of you. And now you are enough to get into another relationship. Have you tried academics? Nothing is working. And you have told yourself, I'm so stupid. I'm not smart. I can't learn anything. Nothing goes through. No, my sister, you are enough. No, my brother, you are enough. Get back into the academic. Get back into school and go do it. Others have done it and you will do it too. You are enough. You have started that business. Nothing works. You have started two, three, four, five businesses. Now you are the laughing, laughing stock of the community. Oh, don't mind her. Akudo has this business. You remember she had a, 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 a subway franchise. Then that one didn't work. Then she went to sell shoes and that one didn't work. Then she started this one. And that, don't mind her. She's always starting business. Nothing ever works. My sister, my brother, don't listen to that negativity. You are enough. Those 50 businesses did not work. But you see this next one you're going to start is going to work because guess what? You are enough. You are a hundred. Nothing will ever take your value. If they rumple you, they bend you, they pour water on you, they rumple you, they cripple you, they throw you away. Even if I throw this dollar away, I still pick it up. It's still a hundred. Nothing has changed. I decide to say, you know what? I don't want this. You dollar, you're stupid. You dollar, I hate you. This hundred dollar, I don't like you. I don't like your color. I don't like this. I don't like that. Does it change the value of this money? No, my sister, no, my brother. It is still a hundred. So when people talk about you, Imagine yourself being this dollar and like, oh, this dollar, you're, you're so stupid. I don't like you. I don't like the color. I don't even like the man in front of it. What is this line for? Why did they write it like this? Nonsense. I don't like it. My sister, does it change the value of what this can buy? No way. You are still a hundred. So I'm coming to you, my uniques. I don't know what life has thrown your way. I don't know what looks like it's not working. I don't know what people have said about you. Some of them have given up hope on you. Some of them have declared you a loser with a big L on your forehead. Some of them have said, you know what, you will never amount to anything. Some of them have said, please, this one I know, this one I know, and who are you? Paul I know, Apollos I know, what about you, who are you? Some of them have said, you say that ministry, oh no, it's never going to work. Some of them have said things about you. Some of them have rampled you. Some of them have bent you over. Some of them, they have turned you into little pieces. Some of them have poured water on you. Some of them have put death on your name. Some of them have done everything to you. But my sister, I am here to tell you, you are still a hundred. My brother, you are still a hundred. They can't stop you. They can talk about you. They can say whatever they want, but it's what you believe. Remember, I always tell you guys, the Bible says, as a man thinketh, so is he. What do you think in your head? What do you occupy yourself with? Do you occupy yourself with, I am special. I am unique. I am a powerful being. I am a chosen generation. I am a hundred. Tell yourself those are positive affirmations. Tell yourself those things and stand tall, knowing that you know who you are and whose you are. My sister, my brother, whatever life has brought your way, whatever life has thrown your way, always remember you are a hundred. Just like the American hundred dollars, nothing can take away your worth. Nothing can take away your essence. Nothing can take away your importance. Nothing can take away how significant you are, except you let them. Remember, you are a hundred. And also remember, you are beautifully and wonderfully made by God. That is why you are unique. Go out there, my unique, and remember who you are. 
you are a hundred. Nothing can change your words. Nothing can rob you of your identity. Your identity is you are a hundred. Go out there and have fun knowing who you are and trusting in who you are and knowing that if you put your mind to it, there is nothing on planet Earth you will not achieve. Just like this hundred dollar. Anything that a hundred dollar can buy, it will be able to buy. And like you, you are enough. As many as is required, as much as is required, that is your definition. You are a chosen generation, loved, cherished, and appreciated by people that know your words. My sister, my brother, it is time you know your words. Remember to give us a thumbs up. Remember to share this video. And please go to the comment section and write me. Tell me one thing that is unique about you that makes you know that you, I am enough. I am enough. Just one thing. One thing, write your name. Tell me one thing special and unique about you that makes you know that, yes, I trust what Miss Unique is saying. I am a hundred and we keep it a hundred. Love, love, love you guys. Bye-bye.